I don't like what Marjorie Taylor Greene is doing. But they are standing by their new champion. Let me explain to you what's happening with Kyle Rittenhouse, the person who committed murder, in my opinion. Okay? Yes, he was exonerated by a jury, had the most favorable judge, Judge Schroeder, had the most favorable judge imaginable. So now they want to make sure, I'm talking about those on the right, they want to make sure that Rittenhouse does not become Zimmerman. They're offering him jobs in the U.S. Congress. He's not qualified. They're offering him now um, awards and honors. He does not deserve them. And now Marjorie Taylor Greene, what has she done? She has filed a resolution to introduce a bill that would award Kyle Rittenhouse the Congressional Gold Medal. Kid you not. GOP Representative Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene introduced a bill this week to award a Congressional Medal to Kyle Rittenhouse, the 18-year-old who was recently found not guilty of murder after he fatally shot two people and injured a third during civil unrest in Kenosha, Wisconsin last summer. Green introduced the bill on Tuesday, along with the summary that read, to award a congressional gold medal to Cal H. Rittenhouse, who protected the community of Kenosha, Wisconsin, during a Black Lives Matter riot on August 25th. Now, let me remind you, this is all for political optics for Marjorie Taylor Greene. She wants to say it was a riot, but call the actual terrorist attack on January 6th a peaceful protest. Remember, Marjorie Taylor Greene voted against giving this same medal to the Capitol police officers who defended democracy and defended the U.S. Capitol. But she votes for she introduces a bill to award that same Congressional Gold Medal to Kyle Rittenhouse. A Congressional Gold Medal is the highest award Congress can bestow on individuals for distinguished achievements. Past part uh, participants include, or recipients include, President George Washington, civil rights activist Rosa Parks, and South African leader Nelson Mandela. She wants Kyle Rittenhouse to join the ranks of those extremely noble people. Now, here's why I say Democrats need to learn something here. You know what Democrats said when the verdict came out? Joe Biden comes out and says, oh, you know, stand with the jury. At the end of the day, the jury got it. I stand with the jury's decision. Bull! Kamala Harris comes out, vice president, got a whole damn degree from an HBCU, historically black college and university. She comes out with a tweet. The verdict speaks for itself. That's because she doesn't want to speak for herself. Are they doing that on the other side of this? No, hell to the no. They are pushing the needle. And that's why, this is why people that may not agree with their tactics on the right, they're only 28% of the Republican Party. I'm talking about the Trump humpers, the people that like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates and that crew. You only got about 28% of the party who actually likes them. Why is it that most Republicans are still down with them. It's because they appreciate their fight. And if Democrats could learn that lesson, they will be unstoppable. If they will stop running away from their own progressive agenda, they will be unstoppable. If they had the same amount of passion and zeal for what's right as Republicans have for what's wrong, they would be unstoppable. Molly, what are your thoughts here? You know, I think you're onto something here because there's no way that Kyle Rittenhouse will be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor because it requires a co-sponsorship of two thirds of Congress and the signature of the president. So it's not gonna happen. So why do it? You do it to get a rise out of people. You do it because you are that type of politician. She's nothing of substance. This is all just performance as usual, but you're right. That's exactly why she's doing it. Not to achieve something, to get a rise out of all of us. It's Marjorie Taylor Greene as she always is. Yeah, and they're standing by their guy. And I've said this before, attorney, uh, you know, politics is chess, not checkers. Uh, in chess, you use power to gain position. In chess, you use position to gain power. 
Kyle Rittenhouse is the new pawn in their game. But if you are a chess player, you know that if you can move the pawn far enough to the other side of the board, you can make that pawn whatever you choose to. It can become the most powerful piece on that board. And that's what they plan to do with, with Rittenhouse.